Hi everyone, in this video I want to cover how to replace a cellular radio on your Lynx Plus alarm system. To complete the replacement, you will need a small Phillips head screwdriver. You will also want to call your monitoring company and have them put your alarm system in test mode. Now locate your alarm keypad. Using the screwdriver, open the keypad by pressing down on the two tabs located at the top of the alarm keypad. Swing the keypad down to expose the electronics. Once you have the keypad open, you will see the radio mounted on the right hand side of the upper portion. Remove the white wire from the radio. If you have a black wire, it must be removed as well. These wires only need to be disconnected from the radio and you can leave them connected to the main control board in the lower portion of the case. If an external antenna is connected, disconnect it at the coaxial connection as it will not be used with the new radio. We can now remove the old radio. Remove the three screws securing the radio into your alarm keypad. Mount the new radio using the three screws we removed from the old radio. For the black antenna, remove the paper from the back and attach it to the bottom left of the alarm keypad's rear case. If your old radio had the black wire, connect this first. Now, reconnect the white wire. Your radio will start to power up and the LEDs will cycle. Please be patient as it can take up to 15 minutes for the radio to fully initialize. Once fully initialized, your top LED should be solid green the yellow LED directly below that should be flashing yellow, and the bottom LED should be solid green. You can now complete the registration of your radio. Tap the button located in the lower left corner of the radio three times. The timing should be tap, tap, tap. If the registration successfully starts, the yellow and green LEDs will flash in unison. Once the registration is complete, the top green LED will be off, the yellow LED in the middle will be flashing, and the red LED below that will be off. You can now close the main alarm keypad. You can also clear any troubles on your alarm system keypad by entering your user code and the number one key two times. The final step is to test alarm signals with your monitoring company. If they confirm signals, your radio has been successfully replaced. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching.